Welcome back. Beamore here with another Ghost Recon Ghost War video. This time we're going to talk about the sweatiest loadout you can have when playing PvP. But before we dive in, please like, share, and subscribe as that's a great way to show support and follow me on Twitter to engage in any discussions about Ghost War. Now, I'm going to preface this by saying that there's no wrong way when it comes to Ghost War on what loadout you pick. Use whatever weapons makes you feel most comfortable. Like myself, I use the table assault. That's definitely not in the top tier of weapons in this game. But I use it because of the range of stability and it's what I like to use. This video is going to show you what the top players use. If you want to give yourself the best chance to win, you should master these loadouts and perks. I'm sure if I took the time to master these weapons, I'd have better stats. But when I look at the top of the players, this is what they all have and this is what they usually use. So let's go ahead and start with the weapons. There are a couple specific weapons per type, so let's break them down. In the assault rifle category, the top players on PC are using the M4A1. It really is the gun that has an absolutely insane rate of fire. Throw in some accuracy perks and the spread is virtually non-existent. When people say it isn't the gun and it's the player, well in this case, the gun can't be ignored on how different it is compared to the others. It's top tier for a reason. Also on PC, some other honorable mentions are the VHSD, but it also doesn't really compete with the M4A1. But after some lengthy discussions on the Discord from some of the top players on console, which has the bigger player base from Xbox and PS4, it is the VHSD that is the gun that dominates the most. And it's not even close. Because it's a little bit more stable than the M4A1 on PC, it makes it the gun to choose on the bigger player base on console on Xbox and PS4. So if you are on that respective console, that is the gun you should use. So that is the top tier, sweatiest gun that you could pick for the loadout. Anyway, let's continue. The next weapon is a weapon I'm sure that will get everybody angry when they die by it. PDR is an absolute monster. It is used by the top tier player on PC at the moment when it comes to PvP. This weapon is far and away the best SMG and it's not even close. This gun can kill you at ranges of 75 meters out without much trouble. The gun is a monster. Most SMGs are just okay. This one is a beast and compared to other guns, it's just OP. Even though there is one clear choice, the PDR, other honorable mentions like the MP7, it's also very good and can shoot you from just as far away, but it just doesn't have the stability and the spread of a PDR, in my personal preference. Sniper Rifles Okay, for sniper rifles, this one might be easy to guess. If you've been playing PvP at all, you have most likely been killed by the Scorpio Sniper. The one thing about the class of weapons, which is unlike the other two, is that there are a lot of good snipers in the game, so the difference isn't that much. What this sniper does well over others is its recoil management. I don't know too many guns that have a faster follow-up shot than this gun. I mean, honestly, it's so good you can use this as your primary weapon instead of an AR or an SMG. Being able to double tap an opponent before they're able to react is what makes or breaks this gun. Also the cherry on top is that it will still one hit kill enemies if you get a headshot. There are plenty of other choices you can use for a sniper but this one is the best for PvP. Perks. Now most of these will be subjective but there's one we can all pretty much guarantee is the perk is burst forth. Not only is that a flat increase to movement speed, it also helps with your stamina when you run out. There's almost never a reason not to choose this perk, which basically has no drawbacks at all, so be surprised to see everyone with it on. Your other two perks could be dealer's choice, honestly, but as long as you have Burst Forth, you're pretty much guaranteed to have one of the sweatiest loadouts in the game. Revivalist is also worth mentioning because it gives great bonuses but someone has to go down in order for it to proc. Now, most sweats don't plan on dying, so I don't know if it could be considered a sweaty perk. Anyway, let's get on to the armor. Now, of course, this shouldn't even be a thing in this video game, but here we are. A semi-quasi RPG set up in the sweatiest of sweats. One sweat to rule them all. Okay, enough sweat jokes. Let's get to the build. Okay, helmet perks are a dealer's choice. Not that they don't even matter, but I would suggest stacking whatever other bonuses you like. Like stealth, I guess, or drone evasion, or technique cooldown. None of it really matters, but don't think I skipped over this on purpose. The real bonus comes from the chest, which you can use the assault or the medic vest from the raid, which prevents injuries and or gives you a 5% damage reduction. Both of them are not huge buff by any means, 
but they are needed if you're trying to be the best of the best or the sweatiest of the sweat. Now we got the perks out of the way. Let's go with the best in slot when it comes to your character building the right way in Ghost War. Best in slot for the gloves are the field medic gloves. They give you a proficiency in handling and accuracy. You will not find too much better than that. These pants must be acquired from the raid. But the good thing is, once they drop, you have them. It's not like they're random rolls or anything. They give you movement speed bonuses, which is insane. But at this point, perks giving you speed is par for course. The next piece of equipment are shoes, giving you another 5% movement speed. So far, that's so much extra movement speed stacking them on your armor between the raid pants and the shoes. That is insane. Why would anybody pick anything else? Who needs stamina regen when you can just outrun in distance? Crouch for a couple seconds and you get it all back. So clearly, this is the sweatiest choice you have when it comes to in terms of armor. Honestly, I just use these and forego burst forth altogether and grab more beneficial perks for myself. Obviously, this loadout isn't going to change the entire game for you, as well as other people have already been using these weapons for so many months. So please take these tools, become the sweatiest of the sweat in Ghost War. If you made it to the ending video, please make sure to share, like, and subscribe as it really helps me out as I continue this journey to grow my channel. Until next time, be more.